What's up guys? If you saw the last video, we were in Atlanta picking up my new R8. Go check it out if you haven't. Well, we've been back in Miami now for a couple weeks and enjoying it. We decided to bring it by Hughes Detailing to get the windshield covered in ExoShield, which is basically like a phone screen protector for your windshield to prevent it from any rock chips. The car had already received a full front expel paint protection film. guys we're here working on the r8 i'm gonna do some lowering springs i'm gonna do an exhaust i'm gonna get that exhaust out of there what is he doing badman garage style you know Wish us luck. I'm gonna take the spoiler off. All this carbon gotta come off. V10. Last of the V10 guys. Last one. You're gonna be on our YouTube channel. What kind of car is this? An R8. An R8? What are we doing today? Springs and exhaust. Springs and exhaust. It's a nice shirt. Where you got the shirt from? Like from SneakerCon 2022. SneakerCon, huh? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to be taking off the fender liner of the R8. Got a lot of screws. Here, they don't get lost. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna find all of them. You should. All right, it's not for the show. We got the fender liners off, and now it's time to attack the springs. Show me where the springs are. Mm -hmm. The new ones are over here. The new ones. Lauren springs. Mm -hmm. well, let's go look at the ones we got to take off. This the rear fender, and you see, I'm gonna replace this. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so we're back and we just got started removing the shock. As you can see, it's turning out now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. put the springs on this bad boy. Yes. All right, so the hardest part about this job is? Removing the under panels. Yeah, the fender liners are a pain to come out. Well, once you get that off, it's really easy. Easier than lowering a Honda Civic. Tested. All right, so fender liners off. And what is that? The speaker. Does it base outside of the car? I don't know. It's weird. It 
You wanna come back? Hey guys, you know you just gotta spin the top off. Just spin the top off real easy. Yeah. Get it done. It's really easy. And then we got these guys over here. I'm sure there's videos you you spreading your legs all over the internet. Yeah. Hey yeah, guys, this is just hand tight, you know. You just put your hand and pull it off. If you can't do it, you know. Just hit me up. I'll come. Very time consuming. You, got, you girls always wonder why we take so long when we're working on cars. What? This literally took like an hour. <laughs> yeah. Just one. We got three more. Three more to go. I mean, the first one's always the hardest, right? Yeah. There we go. She's off. Boom. Done. All right, so we're back from Velos. Swapped over the springs to the sleeve over kit. And now we're back over here working on the car again. Goat, what are you doing? I'm gonna take off the bumper and then start on the exhaust. All right. So it looks like we're probably gonna finish this by the end of the week, right? Today is Monday? Yeah. Friday? Yeah, by Friday. All right, cool. Man, that's mad dirt for a new car. Yeah. Somebody was off roading, huh? <laughs> Looks like that. We got Trokes over there trying to invent something. Making progress. Yeah. Only two more hours for the bumper to come off? No. Not, not that long, not that long. All right, go. What's next? Well, we took off the the spoiler, um, bumper time, bumper time next. So. All right, cool. Yeah. And Trophy's over there making a um a tool to take the cap off the damper. We'll get back to that soon. Yep. All right, bumpers off. Bumpers off. Trokes, what's up? What are you saying? You gotta fix the finish look, the shock. And get off the top hat. All right, what's the next step on this? Exhaust removal. Take this piece off. And then- Crash bar, this. Tail lights. Tail lights, yeah. Still removing body stuff. All right, cool. All right, quick update. Um, What's going on? Off. Taking off the intake boxes? Yeah. To get to the V band. To get to the V band right here. This thing. After that, the exhaust can drop out or not yet? Yeah. After nice. That, ready to drop.
Shoke's working on that custom tool to remove the top of the shock. All right, we got the exhaust off. What are you doing, taking the shield off? Yeah. We're gonna put the shield back on so the tail lights and all the plastics in the back don't get too hot. Yep. Shout out to AVR Performance on this beautiful exhaust that they hooked us up with. It has an X pipe, so it doesn't sound too loud and makes a nice tone. So the exhaust is on, heat shield is on. And it takes our back in, back in lines and everything back on. Make some right. progress. So we're putting back on the rest of the shields. The rest of the heat shields and... Then the bumper. Then this piece right here with the Audi logo and then the bumper. And we're finished. Yeah, hopefully. With the tail lights and everything. And we're still in the process of doing the suspension. But I couldn't finish the suspension because the car was too low. Why? I'm, I'm short. Exactly. <laughs> I, can't, yeah. I couldn't work on ground level. So now that the car is back up, we're going to start putting the suspension back together. All right. Like that <laughs> <laughs> See, I was scared to heat it up that much. No, you have to. Why it won't come loose? Is it too much Loctite? The Loctite there is like it's a green Loctite. Like it has to be like you get burned. <laughs> that's that's the test if you burn yourself yeah but what about the seals and shit in there
suck is too cold. Chokes. So the trick is heat. What's up? See, we didn't have the balls to do that. Uh, I saw it start. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not hot, it's not pulling. Yeah, because that, that lug tight is super. I mean, it's almost like. I think that's like lug tight they use for like bearings. Um, look, look at his. Look at his, his um, thing to hold it. Mm hmm. You see that ship? Yeah, my other screws aren't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still there. It's still holding. It's still holding. It's too cold right now. Good. He says if it doesn't burn you, it's not hot enough. I don't think they were designed to do I don't think they were designed to uh, to be taken apart. It's hot. <laughs> Use the rag. Where's the rag? Because when you start spinning them, especially the top halves, yeah. they start going kang, 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 kang. So, mm -hmm. so you don't, you're not fighting that. I was gonna compress it on this for me. Because now I don't like cars anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah. Here, I this is what I do. I go like this, and I go here. Before you do it, and then you hear it like. Because when you put tension there, it's worse.
that you see. That's it. Yeah. We're about done with the install. Front coilovers are on. Fender liners are back. I'm about to put the wheels on. Schultz is over there fitting the, the rear fender liner. Rear coilovers are on. Goat is sitting over there on the forklift. Did he just finish the whole wheels off? And he's tired. Front wheels are on, rear fender liner is on, rear coilovers are on. Bro, look at this the guy. only thing left is the rear diffuser. Bro, this, guy, this guy is taking my holes. You guys keep coming up with extra screws and blaming it on the rear diffuser. Bro, no, it's him, he's taking my holes. Bro, this is where this one is Bro, look, he's still got two more screws. You did, man. You did. This one doesn't belong here. No, it doesn't. I'm telling you. This one doesn't belong here. I got one extra screw. All right, you got one? I'll tell you how much I finish it. Go off with the car. All right, all right that's a wrap. We're all done. Goat's about to lower this thing down. Let's see how it looks. These are Velo Forge 20 inch fronts, 21 inch rears.
it's now the next day. We never got to take the car home last night because it was really late. It was like 2.30 in the morning and we all just wanted to go home. Um, these are the stock size tires on the front, 245, 30, 20 on a 20 by nine. Um, H&R 23004-1 is the sleeve over kit that we used. H&R says to adjust the front. Where is it? The front adjustment range is from 245 to 265 millimeters. We're in Miami, so we like to be really low because we have good roads down here. So we decided to go with a 245 millimeter um, height, which is from right here, the top of the collar to the center of the bolt hole, which is 9.6 inches. That was way too low. The car was tucking tire in the front. I gave you the tire size, 245, 30, 20. And yeah, it couldn't come off the lift. So what we did was we raised it up to 10.25 inches. 10.25 inches instead of the 9.6, which is what H&R suggested for the low height. It was way too low. So their specs are off a little bit. I'm gonna adjust the rear and I'll give you the measurement for the rear next. So for the rear, we have a 325, 25, 21 on a 21 by 12 inch wheel. It was tucking tire, so we needed to raise it up a little bit. We went with the specs of 135 millimeters that H&R says the adjustment range is for the rear, which is about 5.25 inches and it is way too low. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise it to about 5.75 inches. From the center of the bolt to the top of the hat right here, the top of the collar. We set the rear to 5.75 inches from the top of the collar to the center of the bolt. We're gonna show you what that looks like as soon as we get the car off the lift. All right, so here's the finished product. Just pulled it out of the shop. It looks beautiful. Right height is actually perfect. So use my specs if you want it to look like this. 